The highlights for me this year have been how it's gone up a notch in quality of the clients that are here, the fintechs, and the relentless focus on innovation for the customer. We're seeing some really good new ideas coming out. The next big thing in fintech is when it gets real. We've had open banking. We're today 64 days on since open banking was announced. The potential for open banking to really change a consumer's life is huge. That getting real will be the next big action for fintech. I think startups are in a great position. There's been extra investment this year. There's more focus on the industry. All political parties are focusing on the future of fintech because we are the fintech hub of the world. However, the challenges they have continue and it is around scale and access and regulation, all of which are improving. But without partnering with the incumbents, they will find it harder. And I would say the other side is true too, that the incumbents who are seeking to innovate and to really be relevant can equally use the fintech energy and ideas. I think when we look at fintechs and the challenges of scaling, there's a couple of things that stand out. One is their timeline. They have a certain amount of funding and have got to get to a scale position before the funding runs out. They're often trying to collaborate with the incumbent organisations who operate on a completely different timeline, have different engagement rules and different procurement processes. Now the great thing is that they're all working to make that slicker and much more easier in the future. The Brexit question has been widely debated at the conference today and I think what's interesting is last night we heard the transition news which gave some hope that we wouldn't have a hard Brexit and that would give both fintechs, incumbents time to look at the options available to them. We also heard that Europe as a marketplace is extremely exciting and with 500 million customers and the fact that UK is the dominant financial centre for Europe the ability to passport, although it won't be passporting we hear, into Europe and to be relevant in their space is really exciting. Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't be standing doing this interview now. Um, I'd be off investing in them. I think the next big unicorn is going to be the proper pragmatic and customer focused use case around artificial intelligence. If you look at the surveys and the studies, that is where most organizations think the biggest impact for them is going to be. So the unicorn fintech that embraces artificial intelligence in a way that is accessible and scalable to its customers, I think will be our next unicorn. That's a good question. My latest Google search was looking at Charlotte Crosswell, the CEO of Innovate Finance's announcement yesterday and followed up by the Secretary of State's endorsement about the Innovate Finance FinTech Strategy Group. And the reason I was looking was that we have been invited to be a member of that group, which is extremely exciting news. This year we've had some fabulous keynote speakers. We started with Lance Ugler yesterday, the CEO of IHS Market. And his story is about when he started Market, it was an innovation company that because of what was happening in the market at the time, became a disruptor. The end of the day closed with Direct Line and Lemonade, a disruptor in its time Direct Line, being disrupted again by a new fintech. So the circle was sort of completed. And today we've had more focus on the politicians and Brexit and some really interesting speeches which have been candid, heartfelt and increasingly pragmatic.